here to give you a quick tutorial on how to take your own product photography with just some simple equipment in here, okay? And you can do it in your own home. As you can see, I have me here in my own dining room. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take a photo out of a beer bottle. I got uh, that uh, beer bottle from China, it's called Lucky Buddha. Um, and I just got it for, uh, from a beer store and I just found that the shape is very original because it has like a little Buddha <laughs> in the front. And I just want to take some shots from it. Okay, so um, I have here some four flashes that I already set up the way I like it. So I'm going to give you step by step on how these lights are going to affect the final image. Okay, so first I have my camera here on a tripod. I have uh, the 7000 with uh, 50mm 1.8D. This a pretty cheap lens, a Canon lens. Okay, so uh, I'm going to take a test shot. Okay, first let's make a, our ambient exposure, okay? So I'm going, I have it at F8, ISO 100, and just going to check the focus. Okay, so this is going to be just a test shot on uh, the ambient exposure, as you can see, it's going to take a lot of time because it's not that bright in here. Okay, so that is just a test shot of with ambient exposure of the beer bottle as you can see in the in the screen right now. Okay, so I just going to take this and just a little bit just so I have it on the horizon. Very good. Okay, nice. And I have the bottle on the horizon. Very good. Okay, so now uh, my setting for manual mode is going to be uh, one sixtieth of a second, one one sixtieth of a second for the shutter, so I can still sync with all the flashes with no problem. But at F8 and I go 100, I'm going to take a test shot out of that. Okay, so you can see on the screen that photo is completely black, so the ambient light is not going to uh, steal into our image, just the flashes. Okay, so uh, first I'm going to talk to you about the flash that it's in the back. Okay, so this is a young mule flash, uh, YN462. And I have it just uh, the minimal power that it has is 1 128 in this case. I'm going to put it on the slave mode. So whenever it sees another flash, it will trigger. Okay, so this I'm going to use just to make a highlight through the uh, bottle so you can see the color and uh, the, you know just a little shimmer in there. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, this flash just to trigger that one because I told you on slate mode. I'm going to point this outward just so the flash will see. Okay, so I'll take a test shot. Okay, so as you can see um, in the screen right now, that is the light that comes from behind the bottle. Okay, so that's just affecting that one. Okay, so then I'm going to talk to you about the, this side light. Okay, this it's a same flash, just that one, a young new. Uh, to trigger uh, the rest of flashes, I'm using a young new uh, trigger system. This is the RFC Soul 3M and I have a version 2 in the camera, so but they all are compatible with each other. I put it on the same feet that they come with the flash. And in this case I'm going to use this flash and mm, secure it about 130 seconds of power, almost 180. 180, yes, I think this is 180. And I'm just going to put it on the side just to give a little uh, highlight to the edge of the bottle and to shimmer through. A little bit of bottle. So this is a little bit uh, 1128 1, power. Okay, so let's take a shot. I will put this in manual mode so it won't fire when it is this one. Okay. So okay, so let's take a test of that. Okay, so as you can see in the screen right now, uh, this is the depth of that flash directly into the bottle. Okay, so as you can see it has a nice glow and nice feel under it and it already shaped the edge of the image. Okay, so now, uh, on the other side, I have a Nikon SB900 Just to... Uh, I, I put it in a small softbox, the one that you use when you have it on camera This I have it on 164 so we can bump it up 30 seconds of power, okay uh, And I put it as close as I can to the bottle because I want a nice ring light, an edge light in this case, uh, just to separate it from the background. Okay, so this won't 
uh, shimmer through as much as this one because this has the sub box and I already have a tap the power of that one. Okay, so this is one sixty four. Okay, so let's take a test shot out of that. Okay, make sure it's not in the picture. Nice, okay. Okay, so that's the effect of that flash. Okay, I need to adjust it a little bit closer to the bottom. Okay, let's go have a shot. Okay, this one also on some in the feet of the Okay, so let's have a shot. A little bit farther and yeah. Um, there we go. Okay. And let me just adjust the flash and back because I can see it in the shots. Okay, so as you can see guys, this is pretty easy. Just a matter of knowing what is affecting and what kind of light you are trying to shape. And yes. <laughs> Running here in the dining room. Okay, so now let's take a shot. Okay, so now you can see the effect of that light directly to the bottle. As you can see, it has already that shimmer and that edge of the bottle. It has some, that nice glow that we're always looking for in the glass, which is pretty hard to obtain, but we are soft, nice um, light that we can have in here. Okay, so it's achievable. <laughs> okay, so let me turn this one off. So we can talk about this light, okay? So this is another young new flash, just some close ones, but I have it on um, on a grid, I put a grid in front of it, so you have a, a direct light just to hit these from the bottom, just like a little line conversion that the, you know, just like opposite of that one in the back. And we also create something, some effects in the back, but I have it almost, uh, you think it's um, half an hour in here. Okay, so let me turn this one on. Very good. Okay, so now let's take a look at the effect of the, just that one. Okay, so as you can see, that's the effect of that flash, which is gridded. It's just on the bottle, on the cap of the bottle, just in the front, just to make it a little, you know, to separate from the background. And it gives that nice effect on the background. Before it was pitch black, and now we have the full effect of the background. Okay, so let's turn that one up, and let's turn on the rest of them. Okay, so this was on menu, now we put it on a slate. Now we put this one on. There it is. Okay. And then finally the SB900. Okay, so now we have all the lights. I don't know. Except this one, so let's take a look. Okay, so that's the effect of all the lights at the same time hitting the pot. The button, okay. So I can adjust this one. Oh, very nice. Nice. Okay, another test shot. Very good. Okay, now we have it balanced. Now just let's add this one and you'll tell me which shot you prefer the most. The one that has the nice background or the one that is pitch black. Okay, so as you can see that's uh, the image directly from the camera. Okay, so now uh, this won't be a complete product shot without the props. Okay, so uh, any beer shot, it also always uses some, uh, you know, drops of water, like from the condensation that you would normally have, and some ice, right? So for the water, I'm going to use the um, little sprayer. Okay, a tip I got from a product photographer is that if you mix glycerin with water, glycerin you can buy at any drugstore or pharmacy store uh, with water, it will make the droplets to stay there, not to run as fast as with normal water. Okay, so just like take a shot with normal water. Okay, just make sure to make it nice. Okay, and you can keep. in the bottle so you can keep on spraying on the bottle so you can get the effect that you want okay so these are some test shots okay just make it look natural and 
very nice. Okay, I like that one. Okay, and uh, for the eyes, if I did this for a living, I will have some fake eyes, but I just got this from the fridge. And I'm just going to put them right around the bottom. Okay, so make sure to work fast before they start to melt and it will have a nice effect on the image. Okay, just put them in the Okay, now test them. Okay, so that's the effect of the ice in the water on the bottom. Nice, we have a nice drop down there. On the top, that's what I wanted. And there we go. Okay. So that is one of the final images directly from the camera. No editing, as you can see. Uh, so I hope you like uh, this quick tutorial on how to make a product shot in your home with just some minor equipment and some inexpensive lenses. Okay. So if you have any questions? Please uh, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you like it. Uh, I'm going to give you some links in the description down below, so where you can find all this equipment. And please like the video, subscribe for more photo and tech tips, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys.